Wouldn't it be great if we could discover an elixir of youth, a way of slowing down the ravages of aging? We already know that exercise and a low calorie diet can keep us younger longer. But research at the world famous Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota has discovered the biological equivalent of grumpy old men inside our tissues, which make them age. And they could be vacuumed out. They're called senescent cells. The question is, why do we age? And why do some people develop age-related diseases, such as, for instance, Alzheimer's disease, or cardiovascular disease, or cataracts? Uh, why do we get wrinkles? Senescent cells are basically cells that accumulate in our body as a defense against cancer. The senescent cells typically don't, cannot die. They just sit there and they metabolize. And the problem they create is that they start to secrete a set of proteins that is detrimental to the surrounding cells. So these senescent, these aged cells are really quite bad company. They uh, poison the neighborhood, huh? the, the environment. When we're young, these cells, which are normally there to protect us against cancer, once they've done their job, are vacuumed away by the immune system. But as we age, the immune system loses its suction, if you like, and these senescent cells accumulate. Then they hang around like grumpy old men, making life miserable for the healthy cells around them. But if you have a, a tissue, let you can take a liver, the number of senescent cells that are actually present is very low. But their influence is widespread because of their secretome, as it's called, the components they secrete. They have a wide range. So even if you have only maybe 1 or 2 percent of senescent cells in a tissue or an organ, it can make that entire organ function less efficiently. That's fine in theory, but the question is, if we remove these grumpy cells, will we reverse the havoc they cause around them, the process we call aging? If we clean up the environment, the tissue environment, maybe the cells that are uh, under the influence of these bad components secreted by senescent cells, maybe those cells now start to revive, start to function better. And that was actually exactly what we found. So you delayed aging? Slow down the aging process, but we did not prevent it uh, altogether. And did they suffer less age-related disease? What these mice that we looked at um, develop is sarcopenia, which is a uh, scientific term for, yeah, for muscle wasting. So when we age above the age of 40, we we, every 10 years we lose about 10% of muscle mass and muscle strength. So there's difference between features of aging, universal, and diseases of aging. But we looked at sarcopenia, we looked at cataracts. Not everybody gets a cataract. These mice got cataracts. And another feature is that they lost their uh, subcutaneous fat very rapidly, which is typically will cause the wrinkling of the skin. And so all these phenotypes, they were delayed, or even some of them were, were delayed to the extent that, uh, that they, they hardly occurred. They did these experiments on a strain of mice which ages faster than usual. So before they go to human research, they need to see whether it works on normal mice. But there's something even more potentially exciting about this work. Because while these cells protect us against cancer while we're young, when they become clapped out and grumpy, they actually promote cancer. So removing them could become a cancer treatment. We very much believe that that's the case because often cells within tumors uh, also become senescent. So you would clear out uh, those cells. And people that undergo uh, chemotherapy often have symptoms of accelerated aging as a, as a side effect. So one idea is that these um, chemicals that kill cancer cells also affect normal cells and trigger the process of senescence in those cells. And maybe the clearance of, of senescent cells after chemo might actually benefit also uh, those patients. So those are all kinds of uh, ideas that are floating around 
that now can be explored.